Hey guys, it's Corey back again with uh, Cranberry Alarm RA3D. And right here I've got a mock amp and we've got a few prototypes we want to test, different angles, uh, different types of mechanisms to see what's going to score notes into the amp the best. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Yeah. So this first prototype that we've got is two inch compliant wheels separated by two and a half inches. So you've got half inch compression on the note. And we're gonna try shooting the note sort of straight up vertical into the, uh, the amp slot and seeing how that works. If it bounces in, if it bounces out. Go ahead, guys. So you can see it's kind of hit or miss depending on the angle of whether the note makes it in. A lot of suggestions that we've been seeing are to sort of use a backstop or some sort of uh, like churro bar to kind of deflect the note in. So let's go ahead and try that next. As you can see, it is hitting the churro bar, but it's not really deflecting the note back in since it's already uh, falling out by the time that it hits the, the note. Um, for this next configuration we wanted to test, it's kind of a more angled approach lower down. Uh, so the, the purpose is to hit the backboard and then hopefully the note kind of levels out and just falls straight in. Go ahead, guys. Again, maybe at some like very specific speed and very specific angle, it could work, but uh, it's not quite as easy as I think some people are thinking. And then, once again, maybe a uh, churro backstop will sort of help this. It does help a little bit there. It really depends if that bottom uh, hooks into uh, the slot of the amp. Otherwise, the, the note is going to come falling out. I can try. Further down. Maybe even further down. So varying levels of success there. Uh, we kind of believe that with the perfect angle, you know, on a fixed robot um, at a certain speed, it probably is possible to rebound these things in pretty consistently, but we haven't found what that angle is and what the speed is um, at this time. One thing that we have found is really consistent is kind of shooting the notes in from the top. Um, and it doesn't even necessarily need to be super close. As long as they're headed in a downward angle towards the bottom of the slot, hitting the backboard, it's pretty much a sure thing that the note is going in. There we go. Here's testing a little bit lower. As long as the bottom of the note makes it over the, the bottom lip. Okay. 
you're pretty much sure that the node is going to go in. Oh, okay. Here's a test where we're uh, going to try and put the node in dead horizontal. See how that works. Even a slight angle looks to be sort of deforming the note and pushing it down into the slot. All right, so we've shown a ton of different angles, configurations from the bottom, from the top. Obviously, shooting the note in from the top down is going to be the, the surefire approach. Uh, we do think that it is possible, like we said, at some angle and speed uh, from the bottom to get them in consistently, but we haven't found what that is yet, and we don't have this, this mechanism mounted to a robot to really test it out. Uh, up next, though, we do have our shooter prototype, and we, uh, we want to test that out. So now we've got our shooter prototype from the previous video in front of us. Uh, the shooter is set up, so... Um, it's at the angle that we expect it to be on our final robot. It's around 60 degrees, and we've got it positioned uh, the distance away from the amp, which we expect given bumper distance and how far it is inside of our frame. Uh, we're going to be doing some shots at different speeds, as well as uh, holding the churro up to see if a backboard helps in this scenario as well. So if I can have someone um, start feeding the notes in. This is 15% power on the uh, vortexes. So pretty slow, sort of spit kind of speed. And you see it kind of just hits the, the backboard and rebounds back out at an angle. So now let's try it out with the churro and see if that helps improve it at all. As you can see, churro's not really helping us out here, but maybe we just need a little bit more power. So we're gonna up the power to 20% and see what that does. Now what's happening is we're hitting the slanted part at the top and it's sort of just bouncing right back out. And now trying with the churro. One more. All right. And then last effort, let's bump it up to 25% speed and just see how it goes. So with our shooter prototype and the angle that we uh, plan to fix it at for shooting into the speaker, it's not really viable to shoot into the, uh, the amplifier. So we're back a little bit later. We've done a bit more testing with the shooter. And the main difference between the test we were doing previously and the test now is that the shooter is closer to the wall. Uh, the tip of the wheel is around like 3.75 inches to the wall. And we're also a little bit higher up now. Uh, we found that this angle is more conducive to sort of bouncing the note up in and it falling down. So uh, now we're going to go through some tests without a churro bar, um, sort of helping the, the note to fold into the chute. Um, here are those tests. This is 15% power, so low power maybe not always making it up over the edge, but you see that the note 
hits the backboard and starts to get the right orientation. So now at a higher power, see how it pops up, gets a bit more height. This is where sort of, or this is where some sort of backing helps in. So let's go ahead and drop the churro on. Now whenever the note pops up and bounces, interacts with the churro and it redirects it in. A bit higher speeds also work with this design. And we've also found that holding the churro like a couple inches away from the uh, from the amp still works. Oh, we had one shoot out there. Lower down churro also is okay. As long as the note clears uh, the full, full churro before bouncing, it seems to be pretty consistent. So this is a big update for us. Proves a lot of viability for this sort of design. Using a shooter at a, a normal shooting angle for the speaker to also shoot into the amp, which is 60 degree angle. So over the course of this video, we've showed lots of different methods that we've tried getting the notes into the shoot, uh, sort of slowly dumping them in from the bottom. Didn't work so well, it's pretty finicky. Um, shooting down uh, from the top angles works pretty consistently almost every time. And then after some fine tuning, um, it was a bit finicky at first, but we were able to get our shooter at a 60 degree angle and some help from a backboard to fire the notes into the amp consistently. Stay tuned uh, on Fun's YouTube channel for more Cranberry Alarm RI3D videos. This video on Fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.